take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow your eyelids to close. As you breathe in, just imagine breathing in a feeling of powerful resourcefulness. Feel that feeling of calm, resourceful energy going in through your nose and into your lungs. And as you exhale, just experience this wonderful release, this feelings of stress or tension or worry. Leave your body in that outward breath. And as it does so, you're able to Release the muscles in your chest, in your diaphragm, enabling you to breathe even deeper. And the deeper you breathe, the easier it is to release those feelings of tension. And sometimes tension isn't located where maybe you'd think it would be. We're used to thinking that tension is just in the neck and the shoulders. But sometimes it's in the forehead. Sometimes around the eyelids. Sometimes in the jaw. You can even have tension in fingers or toes. So as you breathe in and breathe out, have this wonderful sense that tension is being released finding it easier to breathe deeper from the diaphragm and in doing so doesn't it feel good to let go I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine that you're sitting in your own private cinema And I want you to imagine that on that screen is an actor. An actor that has a body shape that you would like that version for you. Maybe they have lower body fat. Maybe they have a leaner physique. Maybe they seem stronger or more physically powerful. It doesn't matter what they look like. What matters is they have attributes that are aspirational to you. Maybe you see them in an action movie. Maybe you see them in a different role. But I want you to get a sense that in most cases the actor that you see in a movie is not the body shape they have in their everyday life. Quite often they get the go-ahead on a movie role And a body shape is a requirement of them turning up on that first day of shooting. And I want you to imagine that the body shape of that actor you see on that screen is 60 days after they were given the go-ahead for that movie. I want you to imagine the screen is now rewinding to what they looked like two months before and I want you to imagine seeing the same actor but slightly overweight they now have two months to lose that weight otherwise they don't get that role and I want you to imagine just on that screen that actor or that person that ended up having the body shape that was 
aspirational for you is having a meeting with a nutritionist. And I want you to imagine seeing an actor say that they think about food all the time. That they don't think they can lose that weight in just two months. And on that screen, I want you to see that nutritionist saying that paradoxically they want them to eat more that for the next 60 days they need to eat three meals a day but in a window between lunchtime and the evening meal plenty of time for the body to remember how to burn fat but to eat more in that window than they normally would. The only rule is that what they eat has to be meals that are protein and vegetable based. And I want you to think about what you would do in that situation. What are your favorite proteins? And I want you to create an image in your mind of an amazing steak. Of chicken prepared the way that it's most desirable to you. That if you were thinking of a burger, you probably wouldn't want a cheap processed burger. But there might be a burger with very good quality ingredients that is desirable for you and I want you to create an image of these protein foods at their most desirable an amazing steak well prepared chicken a burger prepared very well maybe tuna prepared in a particular way that makes it so delicious and desirable for you maybe turkey turkey breast And maybe other proteins like salmon or other fish. Maybe other varieties of amazing foods. But these are protein-based foods. And you realize that if it was your last meal on earth and you could choose between an amazing steak or an amazing piece of chicken or eating sweets and confectionery there's no way in the world if it was your last meal that you would choose the cheap toxic nasty teeth eroding confectionery you would want a delicious enjoyable meal And then I want you to imagine your favorite vegetables. But again, as you think about them, I want you to think about them in the way that is the most desirable they could be. Because you could think of broccoli being in a packet on a supermarket shelf that doesn't create any desire. Or you could imagine it on a plate with the steam coming off close up seeing that amazing desirable texture almost getting a sense of the smell or you could imagine carrots you could imagine carrots being undesirable but you could imagine them prepared in such a way where They seem succulent and desirable and delicious. And I want you to imagine these vegetables in the most desirable way possible. Bright colors, close up, cooked, almost like it's just a short distance away from being in your mouth and being able to eat them. I want you to imagine amazingly well-prepared sweet potatoes, cabbage cooked, in the ideal way. 
I want you to picture the most incredible salads full of colour. Bright red tomatoes of all different varieties. The cherry tomatoes, the largest salad tomatoes, those vine tomatoes, all different colours and textures. See the cucumbers, the sliced cucumber, seeing the incredible amount of water and hydration that exists in a cucumber. And imagine avocados being mixed in. And I want you to imagine that even with just steak and chicken and tuna and turkey and burgers, with all the different vegetables that exist, you could have a different meal every single day for 60 days never having the exact meal twice because with all the different lean proteins and all the different vegetables and all the different salads there is almost an infinite combination of meals but I want you to look at that actor on the screen two months before their role where they lost that weight and had that lean body shape I want you to see that almost like you're following their life for two months. They don't eat anything for breakfast, but then at lunchtime they're preparing an amazing, delicious steak, maybe with salad. And then maybe four hours later, they're having perhaps tuna with avocado. And then maybe for the evening meal, they're having some turkey breast with broccoli or carrots. Each meal looks amazing. They're eating more than they normally would. But because they're eating genuine meals, natural ingredients, they stop thinking about food. And very soon, their digestive system starts being more efficient. They don't even think about food. And very soon, when they do think about food, it's because it's time to eat. But they already have a fridge filled with vegetables, lean proteins on hand. Yes, it requires a little bit of discipline to begin with, but very soon, this is simply what they do. So many meals and combinations of protein and vegetables. And I want you to see this actor very quickly have two or three favorite combinations. Maybe it's chicken and broccoli. Maybe it's steak and salad. Maybe it's a burger with cucumber, tomato and avocado. I want you to see three or four combinations that tend to be more desirable than others. And the days turn into weeks and the weeks end up turning into that two months. And in just two months, I want you to see that this act to change from being overweight to lean, not by going on a diet, but just eating good quality food in a reliable, predictable way giving plenty of time for the body to burn fat in that window when they weren't eating and let's shift perspective now I want you to imagine that you're rewinding but I want you to imagine it's no longer the actor on the screen it's you on the screen in your current body shape and I want you to shift perspective so you're now in the movie and for the next 60 days I want you to feel what it would feel like to eat between lunchtime and your evening meal but have three meals rather than two to eat more than you normally would but eat protein and green vegetables 
to set yourself the challenge of introducing new vegetables into your diet. There are incredible vegetables that you enjoy that you haven't had for months. And maybe that's asparagus. Maybe it's cauliflower. Maybe it's something else that when you think back, you think, I really enjoy that food, but I just haven't had it recently. And I want you to imagine what would be involved in buying the food, storing the food, preparing the food. And I want you to see how comfortable you get at batch cooking. That you cook enough for five meals, you eat one, And then you store four future meals for future days, knowing that you can put them in the freezer, put them in the fridge, reheat them in just a few moments. Could be in a microwave or could be putting it back in a pan in a stir fry. Seeing how easy it is to do what you need for now, but to make it easier for the future. Almost every meal you make, you're making more than you need, eating a meal, storing more for later. And you're programming your mind to know that you have food available whenever you need it. You get hungry, you know that in the fridge or the freezer, you've got lots of meals. And I want you to think in terms of meals, not food. Each container is a meal, is a portion. More than enough, and you can have two meals if you get really hungry, but the more food you know is available, the less you desire it. The fact that the goal is to eat more food than you normally eat, paradoxically, makes you want food less. I want you to imagine the days go by and you find a rhythm You find the foods that you like. You find your ideal combinations. You find that what you drink with the food is nice and refreshing. Maybe it's water or sparkling water or things low in sugar, low in calories. And very soon it becomes easier and easier to get into a rhythm than Before you know it, I want you to imagine catching your own reflection, maybe in a shop window, maybe in a full-length mirror in the gym, and you realize that by trying to eat more, you've actually lost weight, that there is no lack of food, there's more, but in doing so, you have more than you need, and therefore desire it less. Until two months go by, you have a new relationship with food, you have the ability to snack on protein, but you desire meals, not snacks, and you wouldn't trade this improved body to go back to the version of you that was addicted to sugar and addicted to processed food when you know how much better you feel having good quality meals, knowing you can eat them whenever you want. I want you to tap into how you would feel with a lean body shape, sleeping better, having more energy, feeling good because you've broken free of certain cravings and addictions by simply giving your body real food. As you tap into that feeling, I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Feel like you're exiting the cinema screen, still seeing yourself on screen with that lean body shape that you desire and taking that feeling that it is possible but also inevitable for you that with vegetables and lean protein over a long enough time, this is simply will be your body shape. Take that thought, that belief return to the present as you take another deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose wiggle your fingers wiggle your toes as very soon i count from one to ten to awaken you you will awaken feeling resourceful optimistic 
with a desire to eat more food, but eat more real food, to eat meals, and to immediately take action to have all of this food on hand. Starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake. Wide awake. Wide awake.